struggling with your glasses, making weird reflections every time you teach. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to properly set up your lighting and which kinds of glasses to use so that you can teach online. That way you can make online courses, Zooms, webinars, etc., and look like a professional. Hi, I'm Angel from RT Course Experts, and we help creative online course teachers with their tech. In this lesson, we're learning all about teaching while wearing glasses. So we're talking about glasses, but what are we really talking about? We're talking about there are camera complications that come from wearing certain types of glasses and setting up your lighting incorrectly. So that's what we're going to dig into and all those weird, annoying reflections that show up on your glasses. You may not see it, but it shows up in the final camera, film, recording, zooms, etc. Why do you care? Well, you want to elevate your look and you want to increase your student connection on courses, webinars, and social media. You want to be able to look at students in the eye and they should be able to look you in the eye without any weird things going on, right? You don't want them to see your eyes plus a couple of ring lights that are circling around your eyeballs or big squares because your monitor is showing up or your two windows are showing up in each of your eyeglass lenses. That just looks ridiculous. So overall, you want to improve your look and you want a real good student connection like you're teaching them straight on and that's going to help you with your courses, your webinars, and your social media. Let's get into a how-to guide. First of all, let's go over a couple of really good options that you can consider. The first option is wearing contacts. Now, if your look is not dependent on your glasses, you're sometimes not wearing glasses and sometimes you are and that's okay, then for certain presentations that are important, go with the contacts. They're easy to wear, they're low cost. The next option is anti-glare or reflective glasses. The next option is anti-glare or anti-reflective. So what this means is you're gonna see less lights on your lenses. The way that works is because these anti-glare glasses, they actually let light go through your glasses as opposed to bouncing back onto the camera. Anti-glare, anti-reflective, just a great thing to have. The next most important thing you can do for wearing glasses on camera is to move any front light sources. Any light sources that are directly in front of you, move them higher, even eight inches, even a foot or a slightly different angle. If there's a ring light right behind the camera, you're better off moving it much higher. Or if there's a, a window right in front of you and behind the monitor, then that window is going to shine right through onto your glasses. You might want to cover those windows. If you have a light right behind the camera, move it up and it'll just be at the right angle so therefore, it's not showing up on your camera footage. The next best thing you can do if you're wearing glasses is to use other light sources, either much higher on top, like on the ceiling or ceiling lights, or on your sides or on the corners of the room, or even behind you. So there's lots of different options, and you can look up photography and three-point and four-point lighting setups. But you don't want to have light right in front of you. And then you do want to have lights everywhere else, right? On top of you, on your sides, behind you. Uh, it could be pointing at you or it could just be a, a nightstand light, just something nice that's sitting on your desk or somewhere behind you. Now, there are a few problems with wearing glasses and lighting. And let's go over a, uh, a few of them. There, first of all, Windows and lights will appear as dots or rings or shades right on your glasses. Pay attention. Don't just start recording. Maybe you can see what, your cam what, you, what you look like on camera. If you have two windows in front of you, 
those two windows may show up on your glasses. If you have windows behind you, those windows behind you may be so powerful that they make you look dark. Don't wear sunglasses on camera. Most of the artsy teachers will not be wearing sunglasses, but you may be wearing transitional glasses, which are sort of auto sunglasses, which might be great if you're inside, outside, etc., cetera, and, and you want those automatic sunglasses to kick in, but they could really create problems for you. In general, sunglasses are super reflective, but the transitional glasses could really block out your, gla your eyes in the wrong setting. So you wanna be careful for that. Remember, you wearing those glasses, you may not notice that, but it'll show up on camera. Finally, I wanted to take a minute to talk about blue light blockers. So these are glasses that block blue light. This is blocking blue light is good because then at nighttime, you can get to bed. Blue light would potentially stop melatonin creation and other things like that. Blue light blockers, if you're wearing them, will actually uh, not let the blue light come in to your eyeballs, but on your glasses may reflect the blue light and push it out. On camera, you may end up seeing the blue light from your monitor, as an example, and you may end up with one or two rectangles on your lenses, on each lens, showing the monitor. So you're going to want to avoid glasses that have blue light blockers while you're on film recording your courses or your webinars. Now let's check out how you might want to set up your studio, your home studio, your office studio, so that you can record online courses, webinars, do Zoom, do Zoom coaching calls, etc. Let's talk about the different positions of lights and what's good and what could be a problem. First of all, the lights in front of you. Ideally, you have lights that are about 45 degrees above you. Even just a foot or higher could make that difference. You don't want them straight in front of you. You want them slightly above you on an angle. Having a ring light right behind the camera is gonna show up on your glasses. You could have a ring light above you or on your sides, and that's fine. But having it straight in front of you, you're going to see one or more ring circles on each of your lenses. Now, you're going to want to make sure that depending on when you're recording, what time of day and your environment, um, that your monitor is less bright than the brightness of all the light. You don't want the monitor being the brightest thing in your studio or in your room. You can just, just think about that. They may want to consider the brightness of the monitor. And then the same thing with having windows in front of you. Even if you have blinds, you may need shades, right? Because with blinds, you might still see lines uh, in between every single blind, horizontal lines that could appear not only on your glasses, but on your entire body. And you just look striped. If you have those windows in front of you, you may want to have curtains or shades when you're recording and then use other lights. Now in your front corners, which is your front right or your front left, you may want to have other lights there. And then you may even want to consider a, what's called a diffuser. This is kind of like those funny socks that you see the photographers use where they put like a, a little bit, a blanket or be careful. You don't start a fire. They, they sell these official diffusers and yes, they're called socks. You may want to have these lights, but point them away from you. If they're pointing at you, you're going to see, you may not see a, an obnoxious big giant circle. You'll see dots and you'll see different kinds of size circles showing up on your glasses. You put those lights there, even if they're pointing away from you, they're still bouncing light on the walls, even on your door and bouncing that back on you that is looks great and is not showing up on your actual glasses. What you don't want to do is have those corner lights there pointing in at you, because even though they're in the corner, as you move your head, you're going to have varying size dots show up on your glasses. Next up is 
on top of you. Totally fine to have a chandelier, ceiling lights, etc. They sell different kinds of light bulbs that you may want to consider. Some are more whitish and some are more yellow. And you'll see there, they'll list it in their Kelvins and warm versus cool. There's different kinds of lights and yeah, ceiling lights. Be careful that you don't have an actual fan. And if you do have a fan, turn it off. You may want to have that in your procedure. Like as you set up your room, turn on these lights, put the blinds on the windows and turn off your ceiling fan because your ceiling fan could potentially make the lights blink. That creates other effects on camera footage. You can absolutely have a light fixture there, like a traditional lamp that's in your quote unquote set. And that's be careful for additional windows that are behind you because those extra windows that are behind you will be so bright that they'll darken you completely and students won't be able to see your eyes or your mouth and, and things and, and your gestures as you're teaching. And also be careful for reflective items. You may have like a photo frame or you may have an award or some, who knows, some sort of toy or some electronic item that has reflective plastic. Any of those weird reflective plastics will show up on your camera footage. Careful with those reflective items. Just move them out or swap them out since they're going to be in your set and you're, you never know when you're going to record. Swap them around or have them point in a different direction. Now on your back corners, so not immediately behind you, but on your back corners, um, you can have lights there. They can point at the set, maybe at your, at your whatever's behind you. On your back corners, your back left, your back right, you can have lights that are pointing at your whatever's behind you, right? Maybe you have a little set, maybe you have a plant, or a, a, a shelf and things like that. So lights can point back there and that looks great. Lights can even point downward. What you don't want is the back corner lights pointing in at you because they'll actually show up on the other side of your lenses, right? From your ear side in and out forward to your camera. So again, whether they're lights in front of you or lights in the back of you in the corners, you don't want them really pointing in because they will, be making, they will be making dots on your glasses. You could go adjust the light a little bit further away. If they're not on my glasses. And then at that point, you have a great, great setup. So if you wanna level up, avoid reflections from lights, from your computer monitor, from shiny objects, and be careful with windows. The light, the natural light is just so powerful, whether it's in front of you or behind you. There might be good cases where windows on the side work, but be very careful because the power of natural sunlight will, will just mess with the camera. So here are the top things you need to know. You have to make sure you're wearing the right kinds of glasses. Anti-glare is cool. Watch out that they're not reflective, that they're not the blue light blockers, and verify your light sources in your room. Make sure that lights are not directly in front of you, and lights everywhere else is fine, especially if they're pointing away from you or they're not showing up. If you have a light that's right in front of you, move it slightly up so it's at a 45 degrees and out of view. That way it will not appear on your camera. And finally, right, before you turn on your camera and start going at it, take a second, turn on the camera, and look at what's showing up. Finally, take a moment to look at yourself once you turn on the camera. So that way you can make sure that there aren't any squares or circles or ring lights showing up on your two lenses. So now you're a lot smarter on how to record videos and show up online while you wear your glasses and look awesome. To learn more, check out the info and links in the notes. If you're loving this stuff, subscribe to keep leveling up your creative business. And if you need any tech help with your courses, community, or teacher website, visit www.rtcourseexperts.com. Thanks for hanging out. Let's stay in touch.